came in, Bad Bear, um, just in a hang, playing a Ray Charles song that was uh, done by Humble Pie. This is going to take a whole, whole bunch of videos because there's so much in this. Um, I don't know if there's major and minor chords, but there are certainly, as Andrew Goldwyn said on the cover of What's Wrong With This Picture, there are chords that nobody knows the names of. There's lots of them, right? Um, for example, there's a bit that goes... don't even know what that is, right? Well, it, 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 it might be... Uh, it might be uh, C sharp ninth, the Hendrix chord, then C sharp flat ninth. But we'll get to that, we'll get to that, right? What's really strange about this song, uh, to me, other than that is, it is so in the pocket by the four musicians. Jerry Shirley, Greg Ridley, Peter Frampton, Stevie Mayer. You know, it's, it, it's, it's as if, you know, they could fall over and they'd fall over in tune. It's so uh, vibey, just absolutely fantastic. But the thing is, it's quite funny, is sometimes one of the two guitar players, now I listen to this on headphones on uh, Saturday night, I think it's Stevie Marriott, which would make sense because he's singing it too. But it could be Peter, Peter Frampton, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes there's bits where one of them um, plays a note to approximate a chord, right? So the first thing you hear is... I think you and I would go... But it sounds great. Right? And Peter plays. Right? Then he plays. I mean, it's just an incredible intro. So you've got Stevie. Sorry? Please. F sharp. Well, it's just a beautiful line. Now, that seems natural for me to play it there. I would imagine most of us go. Because you wouldn't have to change position. You know. That's probably where it's played. But I quite like it there. That's the first half of it. So F sharp, the B, the E, E, D, C sharp, D, and then F sharp, E. Or, right? And then, right, that's uh, F and A, and then E and A. And then another double song. Like that. And then like that line. I'm going to let me tell you. And then Stevie goes. And then there's a right? Then a G. This is where it's controversial. Because we've got the... That's obviously D. But every morning when the sun comes up. G. And then we've got this chord. I don't know about you, but those those are not everyday chords for me, right? So it's it's an F, a B, a D, and an E flat, right? Now because the tones are all a minor third apart, that is a diminished chord that you, know, you might know from Gary playing or Pat Thrall playing it in uh, it's not a whiskey drinking cocaine. So in that case, you just jump the strings. Like that, right? So it's it's that chord, and then we play this one. 
So I've got um, an F, a B, a D, and an A flat. Right. Now, if you want to play it in a different position, you can play an F, a B, a D, and an A flat. So you then fret it like that. Right. So you then get the F and the B, and the A flat. Or you can go. The next chord is a D, except it's not. It's got an A bass. And then F sharp. Uh, B. Do we get this D with the A bass? B. And then. And that's that's the transition back into the second verse. <clears throat> they only do they only do that bit once. Um, the second time they do it, it's like and there's that trill. So it's like like that, and then the then the funny chord. And then, as I say, I'm back into it. Right? Um, <clears throat> there are two guitar solos in this, so we'll get to in a minute. They're absolutely sensational solos by uh, Peter Frampton. He, I think he plays them both. Originally, I, I, I used to think that you know the first one, the that's very Peter. But the second one. I used to think that was maybe Stevie, but I think they're both by, by, by Peter Frank. We'll get to a breakdown of both guitar souls <coughs> in a minute, right? After the first verse, when it goes back to. Um, there's a line that goes. That just goes on top of, sorry, D, F sharp, G, D, C, and then this, uh, sorry. sorry about that. Yeah, got it right eventually. After. The next phrase is. You can see that again, that is out with the sort of normal skills that I would play on a day to day basis. So, first of all, we're playing. You know, you know that it's a D triad. Up to the seventh. And up to the major seventh. And then again. Right, so I'll try and pull that in one pass. second verse um, which is like the first but not quite the same as I said let me get that troll there's another point where there's a there's a very Keith Richard so that's another guitar line um, all these uh, come in periodically through the song one bit I love is the very first time Stevie seems to go. And then there. Then that horrible chord. It's only horrible because I have difficulty to get my hands in that position. It's a great chord, really. Um, and then we're back to the uh, verse. 
So <clears throat> that is the first two verses. What we've got next is uh, Peter's unbelievable for solos. So that's one of the best intros. And he goes into that sound. Into that bit. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So there we go. That's part three of Ray Charles's Hallelujah, I Love Her So by, by uh, Humble Pie. 